हे गाइस आई एम ईशान एंड वेलकम टू साइबर नाइटिको सो इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स लर्न हाउ टू यूज द रिएक्ट टेस्टिंग लाइब्रेरी टू यूनिट टेस्ट योर एप्स फॉर एग्जांपल लेट्स से वी हैव अ स्टेट हेयर ऑफ काउंट एंड सेट काउंट टेस्ट इट द वैल्यू इज जीरो इनिशियली एंड वी आर पिटिंग द काउंट वैल्यू हेयर एंड अ बटन टू इंक्रीमेंट द काउंट सो बेसिकली विल टेस्ट दिस टू थिंग्स that the count value is zero or not initially and this button when clicked is incrementing this count or not using this library called react testing library which is default in the create react app it comes with a package you don't have to install it externally but if you want to install it just use the command or just go to uh, react testing library this first one then you have to install using this command and then install dev dev react testing library or testing library react so now let's start to test these apps not this app this operation yes so the first step here is to do something like this we have this file called app.test.js so let me create one component here that will be called counter dot js a file let me move all of these things like count and button click here make it a functional component first then let me move it here like this also we need to transfer the state count here and import the state i mean the use state hook use state now let me import this component called count here so import count sorry counter from counter then simply render it here like this it will still run fine we can increment the count as we want so for app.js we have a file called app.test.js but let's say we have a counter component we want to test it for this component we will create a file the same way we have app.test.js we will name it counter dot test dot js you can name it anything you want but let's go with this counter dot test dot js and if you open up app dot test dot js you will see these things render and screen that we need to import we also need to import the component like app so here let me import these two things let me remove screen for now we don't need it and this app will become counter from one step back counter save next thing we need is to use this test keyword so test means we are going to test something so let's do it we will write a test here a uh, unit test in which we will write a description first so here, here it says renders learn react link but we will write something like check the initial value of increment oh sorry in not increment count then we have to use the callback function just like this let me write a callback here here we will write this render so render means we will render this app component but in place of app we will render this counter like this so now this counter will return something so we can say const sorry const an object this equal to this we have to destructure the object here from this render one more thing if you come to this counter so we are just calculating the value of count initially so we have to pass an initial value here so initial value equals to something so let's say we have to pass zero only then it will succeed because if we check this counter dot js the value is zero initially this value so we have to check our test case against this so, and same here we have to do so pass it save at both places now as i said this render will return something and this will be 
this counter value this count value inside this h1 because let's say we change the count this will be changed as well so we need to pass or we need to assign a prop here which is called data test id i think that's it and we can say count and here we have to make or we have to grab this id using this function called get by test id i think that's it so now furthermore we have to grab our value of this count from this test get by test id we will do let create a variable called counter equals to this thing which is get by test id and it contains our id which is count so we have to pass count here i mean it contains our value so we have to pass count to filter that value of this count which is zero now we will we have the counter value but we have to make or get the text from there so we will use a function called or a prop called uh, text content here yes, this now this counter contains our value of the count initial value zero now but the problem is it's not a number it's a string so when we run the test script it will fail now we will use a thing called expect expect means what value we are expecting so we are expecting this count to be something which is equal to or equal to equal sorry uh, to equal zero yes by the way we, we should have counter and not count and our script is written successfully now let's try to run it and see what happens open the new terminal and here we will simply type npm test we are testing i mean we are writing this npm test because open the package json file you will see in the scripts we have npm start to start the app similarly we have the test or npm test to test the app press enter it will test your application or mainly run the script let me zoom this or make it in the whole page so it's running the test the problem is we also have one test in app.test.js it will throw an error so we can delete it later see it will fail because here it's not getting this let me show you it's not getting all of these here where is the app.js this it's not getting all of these so let me remove test from app so delete it simply delete this file then in the setup tests okay we have to import this report web vitals index.js where do we import tests we have a web vitals i think that's all now let's test it again clear this let me clear this and try again npm test let's see what we get so it's running now the first or only the one test that we have it's running it and it will fail because see expected is zero but we received the zero in quotes it means it's a string so it will not work here like this we have to wrap or we have to make this value or this value in a number or a numeric value so let's do it so just wrap this counter into a number to make a number not a string let me clear this once more or i think that is automatic hmm. so it's running the test now this should be successful it's a basic test to show you how do we do this so it's running now it's passed check the initial value of the count it's passed in 30 milliseconds or what is this point and time is this it has been passed so it means that our test has been passed and the value of count here is the by zero 
it means test has been passed okay now let's write one more test to check the increment functionality so we will copy this test once more then we will have check the increment button we have write this wrote this description and similarly like this get test by id function we will call one function called get by role so you see this button has a role it's a trigger event so it has a role that's why we are using this function let's create an instance of this button so let's say increment btn equals to get by role we will pass the role which is the button like this and the title i think that's right but uh, yes button and the name so the name is this increment let me check here increment count is the name we have to grab the button from here like this so we are having this save now we need a function to trigger this button from here which is called uh, fire event i think yes this one we have to pass this fire sorry we have to pass this increment button in this fire event on click function so click when this fire event is clicked it will run this increment button and do all of these things so now this fire event or this test case should expect something just like we did it here it expected this counter to be equal to zero initial counter but in this case it will be expected to be the same c the problem here is we are incrementing the count here to zero but we are checking it here so it's already zero and we are passing zero here so it will pass this test case if we go to this test case and see two cases passed so if we make it as one it will fail because we are sending something else but we are expecting something else it will be here soon see expected was one but it received zero so it failed so what we have to do is we have to make this zero and put it here so basically counter is checking for zero it will be zero then it will run true because both is zero then it will, it will run this increment button feature or test and fire it it will fire the event then let's create one more counter which will be counter inc which is mean which means counter increment then we can expect the one value after increment so increment will be clicked then it will be one not zero now save and pass this countering here save and let's test what we get this test should pass or it will pass i am waiting yes both passed i mean both tests if you make this as zero it will fail because it was zero then the button was clicked again it's still zero we are passing here so it will fail it's expecting one not zero see it failed so that was how we test a app in react or how we test our components in react using this testing library from react